Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm John and I'm sitting here with my new best friend, the 2021 Honda Trail 125 or CT125 or Hunter Cub. So this is one of several videos in a series about the Honda Trail 125 where we focus on various parts of the bike and the details within those areas of the bike. So in this video, we're gonna focus on the wheels, the tires, the rolling stuff on the bike, the thing that makes it that go, where the rubber meets the road. So of course, one of the most important things on any bike are the tires. And on this bike, you can see it has an aggressive pattern street tire. And these are made by IRC. And IRC, I believe, is uh, one of the bigger tire manufacturers. I see the IRC tires for off-road and racing and stuff on Rocky Mountain ATV and Motorsport quite often. So they're definitely a brand name. And so far, these tires have been really, really good, especially on the, on the road. On the street, these tires are smooth, they're quiet, they feel like they have wonderful grip. And on the off-road parts that I've ridden so far, they've performed as expected. Uh, I wasn't blown away by the off-road grip of them, but I am pushing this bike a little bit further off-road than the normal person would probably be pushing this bike. So I can't expect too much based on what I'm doing. I'm going to the extremes of what these bikes are really capable of. So in both instances, they've impressed me. However, um, being almost exclusively off-road and looking to do some pretty extreme things with this bike, I will be upgrading these tires to knobby tires that are probably going to be a little bit thicker. Uh, these tires are really, really thin. That's the one thing you'll notice too. It's a very, very narrow tire. Very narrow. Uh, it's uh, 80, 90, 17 in the front. And the back, I don't believe, is too much different at all. It's actually the same exact tire, an 80, 90, 17. So you can see kind of better on the back of the bike. It's just a really skinny tire. It almost looks like a bicycle tire. So that makes for amazing road performance. The bike rolls very, very easy. It rolls easier than any other bike I have. And it's gotta be due to these tires and wheels. So on the road that translates to a really, really smooth ride and excellent rolling resistance. But being what I do with these bikes, I do feel it uh, applicable to upgrade to a thicker knobby. So we're gonna find the limits, I think, with the knobby. So I'm seeing right here, there might be some clearance issues with some of these parts as I go to the knobby tires. It, it's a little bit close to the chain guard. So the OEM chain guard might kind of cause some interference with the knobby tire in the back. And in the front, it is already known that this front fender is going to be too close to the wheel so the choices are to move the front fender up or what I saw on bees deals which I'll probably be buying tomorrow is an actual dirt bike style front fender which I thought looked very very cool it added a lot to the looks of the bike so that's what I'll be going with and then we'll be going with the knobby tires uh, the other subtle thing very cool in my opinion too was the uh, the imitation sort of brake drum look here. And I can jump over real quick and show you what they're getting at on my uh, old motocross bikes here. Because these are kind of how the old brake drums used to look. And obviously on the back, you don't have as much to show back here because of the sprocket and system. So basically, uh, it's most evident in the front and while I'm up here. I want to point out these wheels They are they're a little bit dirty ready because I took this out for a shakedown in the dirt yesterday But these are not gloss black It's like a very dull um, Sort of textured finish almost on these wheels. It's really cool looking. It's a, uh, a real subtle um, color, it's not in your face, but you don't really appreciate it until you get up close to it. So looking at the front brakes in more detail, it does have ABS, anti-lock anti -lock braking system. And 
that is something that's disputable and debatable on off-road bikes. It's not really something that you'd probably want to have per se if you're doing exclusive off-road riding, but it is definitely a safety item for the street when you're on the street. I'd say particularly with wet road riding. On my initial rides with the bike, I have noticed that the front brakes are a little weak. They seem a little underpowered. So it could just be that they chose a really weak brake pad for the front. It's not aggressive enough. So that's something I'm going to keep my eye on. And of course the rear brake is not ABS equipped and uh, it is fully skiddable. So obviously you have your rear foot brake right here and you can stomp down on that and skid your rear brake. So that's always awesome when you're out in the dirt. Okay, thanks for watching. Please be sure to check out all of the other feature videos on the Trail 125. I try to cover each section of the bike in up close detail, foregoing the specifications and more or less showing you how it works on the bike and what I feel about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like this content. There's tons more to come.